Right, so I did a video last night in the middle of the bloody night and I went to sleep and I woke up and there's more stuff happening. So we're talking about it. And we're going to be talking about the Fextra Life stuff. There was some stuff happening like with Fextra Life, how we posted a video. If you haven't seen it, I do have a video from yesterday. If you want to go check that out, it has a little bit of information on what actually happened at the beginning. But for the quick version, he was given an early access review copy of the game to make a review on. That video was not supposed to come out till December 6th. Now, at the time, we believed that he just broke an NDA. Well, we not we certain people believed that he broke an nda and they were pushing it on their x accounts their twitter accounts but it turns out that wasn't the case and we're going to go through what happened right now we have some stuff from path of exiles developers and we have some stuff from fextra life now we don't know what was actually 100 percent said between the two because they don't say that it just says basically that the path of exiles developers made a mistake and fextra life dropped the video at the date that the embargo was supposed to have been lifted somehow, somewhere, somewhere. I don't completely believe that that's the case, but if Path of Exiles devs, if GGG is saying that, then it's got to be true. They're pretty damn honest and open about literally everything. And the fact that they just sat there and just said, ah, uh, hands up, my fault, sorry, my bad. Instead of basically just blaming it on everyone else, like most developers and most people in general, most companies in general would just blame everyone else for that stuff. So it's actually pretty cool that they just came out and said it. So let's go through their post first of all. So they go to say, we've seen some speculation that some people might already have access to the early access version of Path of Exile 2. It's not a speculation. It was pretty obvious with the more than one video that was released, but the other video that was released actually went down almost instantly. It was by a German YouTube channel, but that pretty much instantly disappeared. So it wasn't just one person did it was actually two but they go on to actually clarify it now this is where it starts getting interesting so to clarify some traditional games media traditional games media fix your life as a traditional games media people i saw a lot of comments saying he isn't traditional games but yeah he is he's he's old school he's paid to do reviews and he talks good about things he gets paid for and doesn't talk good about things he doesn't get paid for for example a very recent one for fixture life was his dragon age the Velgard thing where he had a little bit of drama that he says on the channel he doesn't really do about drama but he does have some drama from some other things that he's done on twitch but we'll go through that in a little bit in dragon age the Velgard, they wouldn't give him a review key along with two other quite large youtubers in the gaming review verse so he made a video saying Saying, why have we been left out blah 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 cry cry blah blah cry and then he wrote the video like he wrote the review of the video after he'd played it for a while saying how bad it was now if he was given a review key beforehand he would not have said it was bad i would have i would like literally put all of my life's money on the line to say that if he got a review key that video would have come out exactly the same as multismal gaming's talking its praises about literally everything that's just a personal opinion though and if you don't know the reason why people hate fixture life is because he does a one by one pixel on his wiki so every time someone goes on any of his web pages on his wiki they're actually counting as a view bot for his twitch stream so it raises like up to upwards of a few thousand to tens of thousands of views uh, like of people watching the actual channel itself and only like four people talking in it because they're all on the website and not on the twitch account at least as far as i know that's exactly what's happening i'm not a internet whiz or anything like that or a web developer or anything like that so i i don't know what 100 is maybe someone can let me know down below how like what he's actually doing but i have heard it's just a one by one pixel that's what i've been told so you don't even know you're watching it it's just there which if we're gonna be kind of honest it's actually a fucking 150 iq move to be per like to be without like looking at it completely objectively without him being a douchebag for doing something like that if he's done something like that i haven't got 100 percent sure i've seen the drama i was there like when it was happening i was watching the videos and stuff so it, it's probably 90 percent actually happened but there's always that 10 percent chance people are just talking shit but who the hell knows this youtube drama stuff is absolutely mental sometimes but that's why the majority of people hate him and that's because of the community where they think that view but it's, it's a legal form of view botting basically so like they can't be done for it it's not against the terms and conditions and blah 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 the terms of service so he gets a way of it but anyway part of the stipulation that media were given is that this is for review purposes only they may share their opinions of the game but are not allowed to produce guide style content from this version that would spoil the discovery of the game or post unedited playthroughs judging by what factual life does for a living he literally does that to write guides on his wiki and do videos on guides about stuff it's kind of weird that they would have picked him personally someone made it someone like fucked up a little bit by picking him to do this kind of content because it's not the kind of content that he makes i bet he's made an absolute crap ton of guides already off of the stuff that he's made and he'll just release it if he's smart 
two, three weeks after the game comes out. Because people are still going to be clamoring for guides and learning how to play the game and stuff a couple of weeks into it, months into it. Like people were still looking at Path of Exile guides 10 years after the game came out. So, and it still gives him kind of the edge on that all it'd have to do is just work out all of the things and then re-record some footage that goes towards the guide that he's making from the new early access version there's ways around all this stuff like it doesn't take that much to see that this is the kind of thing that he would create then that's not even to mention that he's going to be able to create anything because his wiki has a lot of information for a lot of rpgs and a lot of games that aren't correct or slightly wrong or outdated or loads of different things basically like some sort of legacy media guide on pg like ign or pc gamer or something like that where they make some random ass guide just put in in uh, a text prompt into an ai and it comes out with a guide for a game and half the words aren't even right it kind of does that kind of content personally speaking from my point of view i've played a lot of rpgs that he's also played i've seen some of his guides i stopped watching him years ago because of the fact that the, the stuff just wasn't correct but it's kind of weird that they gave it to a guy who just does that kind of content when there's plenty of other YouTubers who are more loyal to their Path of Excel fan base, for example. There's there's plenty of them out there. It also says they are not playing on the same servers, the early access version. So none of their progress will be kept, which isn't really that big of a deal. It's early access. There's nothing that really matters. It's not going to be kept after early access anyway, unless you want to stay on the early access servers. But everyone's going to want to move to the new servers because that's where all the people will be. So kind of that it didn't make that much sense to me. And in addition, all of the content they produce is embargoed until the the release of early access on december 6th so no content is supposed to be posted until then that's just what was supposed to have happened now somewhere someone somehow along the line fucked it up unfortunately there was a miscommunication with Fextual life that resulted in a video being posted early this was a mistake on our end and is in no way on Fextual life i'll show you what the, the Fextual life wrote in the post in a minute because like these guys are being really gracious towards Fextual life and Fextual life's just like yeah let me let me smoke that hold my beer while i shit on them we'll see that in a minute on release day, we want players to be able to make a more informed choice about if they would like to buy a key. We believe that allowing traditional games media access should be able to accomplish this without spoiling the game. I don't believe that that, 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 that I mean, yeah, I can see how they would think that, but it's like trusting Kotaku, IGN, PC Gamer, and all those other shit media things to actually give an intelligible, decent, actually played review of a game. It just, it makes no sense to use them anymore. They're, they're, it's a dying breed. People, people don't care about how well you can write a script to please a developer to make people believe and lie to people basically there's a lot a lot of these people they just lie to people to get them to buy a game because they're getting paid to tell people to buy the game and that's just my cynical like probably over paranoid conspiracy theory thing on it but it's probably fucking true to be fair so with the path of exiles thing out of the way and i have to say i said here thanks for the quick response and that was i didn't even sleep that bloody much jesus christ there was a lot of people who were on the side of ggg saying thank you for the clarification from local over i love this guy on next he's actually funny he drops a lot of good information and makes some cool comments and stuff and this guy i don't even know who this guy is maybe maybe he's someone important i don't know i think the community would like a clarification for why fictional life was granted accident why why do you need a clarification for why fictional life was granted access it literally says in the post right there it says right there why they gave it to him because of traditional games media it literally says that so i'm not sure why the majority of the community dislikes fictional life for their view bought in and website and but no the majority of community only content creators hate him only the content creators you know why the content creators? because he does has a way of getting around something that they can't do to get more views all the time he's still got a million subscribers if people didn't like him us 15 to 30k subscribers are path of exile we're not exactly gonna get it kind of it's kind of stupid it feels that feels like a massive jealousy thing there monetizing their guides so everyone everyone monetizes guides if you were getting ad revenue or if you're getting website avenue revenue or anything like that i mean you have to be paid for your work man granted his isn't the best but still fixture life is not traditional games media stay away from them if possible there's the reason why they should stay away from me is because he's traditional games media like, i don't understand some of these comments to be perfectly honest professional and accountable is the good side proud of ggg thank you for being transparent more companies need to do this happens way too often and with no response ever a thousand percent should be on fixture life either way not the first time and won't be the last there's a lot of hate for him and all of these people are all like 
But all of the people that are saying he should get fucked are all content creators, it seems like. Gonna be funny when Fiction Life upload 10 build guide videos less than an hour once the server goes live. Is this... Here we go. There's another one. Another content creator. Now, let's go and see. Thanks for the transparency, Denipon. Oh, they're on Twitch. Denipon had a good go of doing it on Twitch. Here we go over there. That That's a person who didn't shit on him straight away. Thanks for the response. Personally, I will never give Extra Life the benefit of the doubt. Hashtag countdown. Further gaming. Twitch blah 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 youtube blah 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 honestly just happy the team at poe is choosing experiences but while communication sucks we're all human and we have another youtube partner everyone who's commenting on this figure is literally a content creator that's actually nuts uh well said very professional working on weekends the communication is clear cheers fucking hell it's another one <laughs> they're everywhere we're everywhere we're multiplying you can't trust traditional games media any more than you can trust traditional news media they are all garbage i have to somewhat agree with this personally that's a that's a good that's a good take there db are you a content creator let's have a butchers no he's a community manager for web3 bones by jurios 3d printing sorry if i'm like just giving out people's bloody things but it, you can click on it and find out the information anyway fair the whole thing has been overblown into nothing tragic has happened are we are we a content creator english second language casual gamer we find someone who isn't a content creator i thought the game was going to be free let <laughs> just come out of nowhere it is free man when it comes out this is early access you're paying for early access uh, this is, here's one i saw earlier why is facial life so hated here i need some context please their wiki is missing info or just plain wrong info and their site is just there to embed a tiny twitch player in it so they can have thousands of viewers who don't know they are watching twitch so their twitch channel sits at the top of the category i did some research like straight after this guy commented i did some research wow what a shit channel i would unsub if i'm sub to them if i'm sub to them i thought they were legit i used their vids and articles many years ago <laughs> I can't, I have no, I have no, like, let me know, like, I, I won't say anything. Let me know what you think about that one down below. That would be quite good. Because he made a post saying, I lie, why is he so hated here? A context. I did some research. I don't know him. I need to, I don't even know if I'm sub to him. I used their vids for articles many years ago. Okay. Like, it just makes no sense to me. But anyway, let's go to the wonderful Factual Life channel over here. 1.1 million and 50,000 subscribers. I wish that's never going to happen to me. I don't have the personality for it. Well, neither does this dude. And he's done all right, but he's done it for a long ass time. And he's got 3,300 videos. Jesus. So Factual Life talks about the path of XL2 review update. The developer made a mistake when giving us embargo and accidentally gave us the go ahead for publishing review earlier than others. They got in touch, apologized and asked us to private a video a while longer so everyone can publish at the same time. It's no big deal we understand mistakes happen so we did we have broken no ndas or embargoes it was a mistake on their end read it from their own words like it's already starting off like i ain't done shit wrong like nothing you could have at least add a little tack there to be perfect like christ just you don't have to let's just carry on nobody is censoring anyone no ndas or agreements have been broken and this is not important to the overall upcoming launch of such a fun and highly anticipated title we'll have the review up and more content coming on december 6th more con and more content that's what that's what i don't know why am i trying to copy paste that shit i was trying to put it over to you and discord for some reason and more content coming on december 6th i hope everyone enjoys it so they're only allowed to review on that they're only allowed to review on the early copy so what other content could he possibly have that isn't a review so ggg needs to have a look at this because that's some bullshit on his side like i i can't even defend this fucking twat nugget for that to be honest hope everyone enjoys it please be nice to the devs this wasn't malicious in any way and we have nothing but good things to say about them well actually you didn't have the best things to say either and then he posted a picture of their little post there to save his little hide so he can still get review keys from other gaming things personally the drama was a bit over the top there was a lot of content creators who had like who had their anus hurt because they wouldn't didn't receive a review key even though they've been making content for ggg for a while and i kind of agree with that to be perfectly honest if you are a content creator who spends a lot of your time helping ggg helping players play their games especially in path of exile one where it literally you needed a degree in psychophysics which isn't even a science by the way just to be able to figure out how to make a build like the, the content creators for Path of Exile 1 did a lot to hold down the fort for that game to really keep people in it. They, they really helped with it. And then uh, as far as we know, none of them actually got anything. Maybe it's the vocal ones that didn't get shit. And the, the ones who aren't speaking are the ones that are like sitting there giggling like uh, I got a review copy and you did. And I'm going to have a review out on the first day kind of stuff. So I, I don't really 
understand the hatred for facial life i kind of understand in some ways but nothing that really goes far enough to like you think that the world hates him because of a one by one twitch thing that that literally doesn't matter to 99.9 percent .9 of people you know who that matters to content creators and i don't give a shit like people make their content they enjoy their content they do their thing if it's doing something negative then you just make better content and make sure that people can see it and if you're making better content you're gonna get the views but if you're not and just complaining you're not gonna get shit which is what i usually do which is why i'm still at 15,000. or am i 18,000 now i'm at 18,000 subscribers now remember subscribe if you haven't already i'm gonna be playing a hell of a lot of path of exiles too and there'll be some standard long form content in the form of videos i might do a live stream for the first day depending on how the game if the game launches and the servers don't explode then there's something that we can do there i'll probably do a little bit of a live stream on the first day and i'll chuck out some guides on there and the basic stuff and it's going to be more like t talking to you about what to do rather than just like some full-blown scripted guide although i may do some of them as well we'll have to see all right and that's all we have for today thanks your life being an arsehole and ggg taking the blame for everything i want to thank you all for watching remember to like and support all your gaming goodness fly safe and avoid local chat scams